What are you doing? You can't play this week's game like that. Why not? It shows so right here on the box. You know that's just to make the game look fancy. Really? Come on, go shave and put your outfit on. Fine. Uh, we'll just wait for him. When he comes back, we'll learn what it's like to crunch into Twixt. Twixt is an ingenious old strategy game for two. It was published in 1962 by 3M. 3M? That's right. The Scotch Tape brand 3M published a line of board games in the late 60s, early 70s. They were stamped with the Bookshelf Games logo and had simple rules leading to complex gameplay. For example, to play Twixt, players have to connect both sides of the board together by bridging their pieces. Pieces only connect when the distance between them corresponds to the diagonal of a six-hole rectangle. Pieces can be placed anywhere at any time except behind the opponent's border. That's it! Seems pretty easy, right? Wrong. The whole time you're trying to connect your sides of the board and block your opponent at the same time, which spells trouble for a short-term thinker like myself. But a cakewalk for a long-term thinker like me. Let's get started. All right, I'll go first because I'm red. Well, I see you're gonna connect to this side soon, so I'm gonna put a piece right here and I can connect to my side more quickly than you and put up a blockade. Oh, that won't be a problem. I just fenced you into a corner by building two bridges at once. Oh man, I gotta learn how to see the big picture and think long term. And with this last peg, I win. Ugh. Well, this game did go pretty fast. Wanna play again? Sure. All right. To summarize, Twixt is a very complex game based on two simple rules. It's great for a beginner and advanced players alike, and it can be accommodated to fit four players. I highly recommend it. I'm the Cartographer. Join us next time as we map out more secrets of the board and card game world on the Gamer's Atlas.